No, I know it. No, no. The airport is Kim Chriselle. I know that. And that's the reason why I've been low media profiles this last year. Yeah, that's it's like, right. Wow, that's, that's right. a little fun. Kim Chriselle, known uh, the counselor for more <laughs> too, that, that always holds her tongue, that, that's never outspoken, that never says what she truly thinks, right? Hey, Welcome let's to face BT. it, I have uh, downed it a bit. You have dialed it down a bit. How come? Is it because you thought that the mayor was not going to run again? You were poised to take oh, a shot yeah. at the top job and you thought you better back off and stop, upset, stop upsetting so many people with your ambitious plans. Yes, that's so true. Hey, uh, it, if the mayor had told Edmontonians yesterday that he was that he was going to wrap it up at three terms, that he was not going to run again, was uh, a shot at the mayor's job at all uh, in your future plan? I mean, was that something you were seriously considering? I mean, what I've been saying all along is, look, I'm undecided on what I want to do, whether I'm even going to run for council, and that's just the reality. I, I'm struggling, I think, with the same thing the mayor is struggling with, mm. the fact that we're looking at four-year terms. I'm in my third term as a councillor in, you know, it is a very tough job. It's a long job. I mean, you are going from morning meetings like today to evening meetings like it's tough yeah we see guys around a lot and of course you're talking about a four-year term as opposed to a three-year term a lot of people think that maybe that is somewhat playing into Mandel's decision it would take him into his 70s if he were to run again but it sounds like he spelled it out quite clearly yesterday and that was that there's there's some unresolved business and that's why he's not leaving yet it sounds to me and I'm going to assume like he's gonna run again uh, Take us into your relationship as much as you're willing. A lot of people were telling me, some City Hall insiders, that you've really been in the mayor's corner encouraging him to run again. Is this true? No, I have been encouraging Stephen to run again because I do think there's unfinished business that needs to be addressed. And the concern I've had is that we do have a lot of councillors who are looking at the mayor's job. Mm -hmm. And the distraction of, you know, not focusing on moving forward with city business has become a bit of an issue. Councillor Libovici actually said it yesterday. And I think that she's right. And I think that this allows people to refocus. Now, how it went about yesterday, obviously people were a bit shocked because they were expecting the mayor to say yes or no. And I, I was hoping he'd say yes. But, you know, the undecided, I think that people are kind of shaking their heads this morning. But I think the reality is, is Stephen is real. That's why I've always liked him as a mayor. I'm real too. You know, politicians... We, we can be undecided on things sometimes, and I think in this situation, he truly cares about the city. That's what's going on. We saw a shot there of the mayor talking to councillors Iveson and Loken uh, after the lunch in there. I, I texted Iveson shortly after, and I said, what does this uh, decision, or what does this non-decision, if I can say that, by the mayor mean for any uh, you know uh, ambitions you may have had of running for the mayorship? I know that he is one of those rumored to be seeking uh, that job, whether it's now or later. Iveson said, quote, it's a big decision. I understand if the mayor needs more time meanwhile we can all focus on the work ahead i won't make a decision until he does and i have said i won't run if he does that's exactly what counselor so he told me as well but what does this do because the mayor said yesterday hey for anybody with plans running for mayor don't wait for me go ahead and announce your candidacy it's kind of a coy move well i think it does well, I think it does two things. One is I think it makes it challenging for those counselors who've said that, right? They're not going to run. And I think Stephen's right. If you really want to be the mayor of Edmonton and this is your, your goal, you can stand up and, and decide to run. But it is tough when it comes to funding. And there's a lot of people out there who are huge supporters of Mandel, and including on council. And I think that that's a tough one. So what he's really done is effectively got council to refocus back on city council business instead of worrying about whether we're going to, who's going to be running for mayor or not. A big part of city council business, uh, and this will be the understatement of this interview, is dealing with the province. And I wonder if these dealings are going to get a little bit more complex, a little bit more complicated, and maybe even a little bit more catty after yesterday's address. What are you expecting as a city councillor that's going to be looking to do business with the province? Look, I feel that there are some challenges with the provincial budget. I think we're seeing daily some of the issues that are coming out. Obviously, the cuts to post-secondary were pretty deep, and we'll see how that plays out. The mayor addressed that yesterday. I certainly have been a supporter of the downtown arena development, which I'm hoping is going to go ahead. We're wondering where that missing $100 million is going to come from. There's a lot of unfinished issues, and we're also spending a lot of money on LRT, and we need to be assured as we go forward how that's going to work. And so there's a lot of... Uh, concern out there and I think that that's why Stephen yesterday basically said look at this point in dealing with the province maybe he's going to take a harder line I mean that was one of the things that he sort of suggested um, I'm hoping we'll still have good relations because the province has you know funded and helped us in in many ways but I do think 
the frustration here is that Edmonton is, is just about there in terms of transforming our downtown, in terms of when you take the airport redevelopment, the arena downtown, and the potential art district. As you can imagine, Ryan, City TV is downtown. Oh, hey. We can almost be there. We want to see the vibrant total downtown. New, vibrant downtown. And I think that's playing into some of the frustration that you're seeing. And that you saw the mayor demonstrate yesterday when he said, look, I can't just ship out at this point in time. I, I personally would have liked him to say, yeah, I'm going to do another term, but he's got to make up his own mind, and that's the way it is. And councillors, well, they have to make up their minds, too. The reality is is that some of those projects you reference actually could, as ridiculous or uh, unforeseen as it seems, could collapse. They're not that's quite the there yet. That and that's why have. I think he's going to run. Yesterday, we asked, leading up to the lunch, and we asked our on-air host yes. whether or not they thought he would run. I'm changing my answer. I now think that the mayor will run again, and we're going to put you on the record, Kim K. Do you think the mayor will or will not seek re-election? I'm going for yes, but yes. we'll see. Okay, great to see you. <laughs> Ward 2 Councillor Kim Crischel, thanks so much for thanks, joining Ryan. us. The mayor joins us just after the 8.30 news. We'll be back with today's top headlines right after this.